Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where life's many questions and challenges will be addressed with inspiration, with humor, and real talk. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. So this week, I'm going to piggyback off last week's topic, which was everybody is not going to like you, and that is okay. By the way, if you haven't heard episode one, I encourage you to go back and listen to it. I promise it will be worth your time. But today's topic for episode two is go where the love is. Go where the love is. I believe that you avoid much heartache and much pain in relationships when you stop trying to win over people who are lukewarm towards you or who are cold towards you. People who make you feel like you have to earn their approval or work for their affection. So the question is, what do you do if you find yourself surrounded by these types of people? My answer is, I say, go where the love is. By that, I mean where you are celebrated and not tolerated, where you are accepted for who you really are and supported. Safe spaces, trusted friends, acceptance, security, unconditional love. Just like gravity makes it easier to run downhill versus uphill, love makes it easier to be in healthy relationships versus unhealthy relationships. Love, like gravity, is the driving force that makes it all work. It is so much easier to be in relationship with people who love you than those who are not yet quite sold on you or who are sitting on the fence when it comes to you. Now, it is not to say that in every life situation we have the privilege to stay away from people who dislike us or who are lukewarm towards us. Uh, there are some situations and there are some people we have to deal with no matter how they feel about us or how we feel about them. Coworkers on, our, on a job are a really good example of this. I understand that, but I'm not talking about coworkers. I am talking about when it comes to your inner circle, your close knit group, your ride or dies, your people, your besties, your crew, your homies, your tribe. When it comes to these people, it is really important that you surround yourself with those who speak life into you and honor who you are and that you do the same for them. See, the world can be cruel and harsh enough without you having to fight those who are supposed to be or who at least should be in your corner. When I look back on my past relationship choices, I really cringe sometimes because I cannot believe some of the people I allowed to have close proximity to me. People who clearly didn't like me or who weren't, as I said earlier, sold on who I am as a person. I don't allow that anymore. Thank God for growth. Growth, right? Because I now determine your proximity to me by your love for me. Because love is an action word. It does something. It shows you feel it as a recipient. I have healthy and thriving relationships for the most part today because I have actively and intentionally chosen to go where the love is. Life is so much better in that space. There's a quote by Eleanor Brown that says, some people won't love you no matter what you do. Some people won't stop loving you no matter what you do go where the love is there's a scripture in first corinthians 13 that describes love as being patient as being kind as bearing all things as believing all things as enduring all things and it says that love never fails why wouldn't you or i want to coexist and grow in a relational environment like that. That kind of environment 
plants seeds that produce harvests of trust, longevity, self-confidence, security, peace, and joy in relationships. You know, there's something I say to my children all the time when they are contemplating doing something that I think is just crazy. Uh, and that is, when in doubt, don't. <laughs> when in doubt, don't. I probably should say to them, when in doubt, pause. Because what I mean by that is don't jump in the water, especially the deep end, until you have more information with which to remove the doubt. Can you swim? How deep is it? I think that same concept is true of close-knit relationships. When you are deciding who should have close and intimate access to you, gather more information until you determine which direction the love is in. Because ultimately, you need to go where the love is. Thank you for taking the time to listen to or watch Try Again with Monique wherever you happen to be. Please remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. Please like us on Facebook as well. Episodes will be posted weekly. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates released under Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives 4.0 International License. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.